Hi guys. Well, I've got a product for us Glock guy, for us Glock pistol guys that I think everybody's going to really like. Uh, I wanted to do a review on this thing when I first got the, got it, but number one, I didn't have a video camera and I didn't know how to use YouTube. But uh, another issue was I wanted to give it a, some time to see how I liked it, see how well, how well it held up over the years, that sort of thing. But anyway, what it is, for Glock pistols, uh, up until now, the only option that we had for, a, uh, for an external manual safety was one of these little plugs that you, pull, uh, that you push in behind the trigger. And in the event that we actually had to fire the pistol, we had to push that plug out, and of course you lose your plug. They're about 10 bucks. You know, not really a good option. Well, the folks at Ciderlock has come up with a design that's actually a, uh, a push-button external manual safety for the, uh, it's a safety trigger that uh, replaces the factory Glock trigger. Uh, as I understand from what uh, the Glock representative told me, because it was actually a Glock rep that installed this thing for me, told me that these are actually approved by Glock for installation in Glock pistols. I don't know that for certain. I haven't been able to confirm that, but that's what the guy told me. Uh, without any further ado, I'll go ahead and I'll show you what the thing is. It's a real simple, simple little device. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to uh, check, the, check the weapon. I'm going to go ahead and drop the magazine out of it, pull the thing back so that you can see that there's nothing in there. And go ahead and zoom in here so that you can see this. That's it right there. You can see that's the, uh, that's the locking mechanism. And the way this works is when you, uh, when you engage that, uh, that button, then this part right here is not able to, and this is, this is the beauty of it, it's, it's absolutely simple. All it allows it to do is it does not allow, I'm trying to keep that in frame, uh, it does not allow this keeper here to move out of the way so that the trigger can fall. It absolutely will not pull. Push that button, and that's how it operates. It's that simple. The cool thing is, is the uh, is these are ambidextrous safeties, meaning that, uh, that when they're installed, and I recommend, unless you really know how to uh, work on Glocks, uh, I would recommend taking these things to a gunsmith and having uh, having that trigger uh, replaced. Uh, a lot of gun shows. I don't know if if uh, you guys in the rest of the part of the country. Uh, I don't know if they do this, but uh, at our gun shows here in Florida, there's actually a couple that, uh, and I think they travel around, there's a couple that, uh, that sets up a Glock table, and that was, it was an old couple, and they were the ones that actually installed this, this uh, uh, trigger for me. I bought it from them, and they installed it. It was about $65 to have it installed, but uh, they're really, really simple little triggers. He, the very first thing that he asked me is whether I shoot right or left-handed because he wanted to make sure that he set it up so that uh, so that it was right for me to operate. Now I'm a right-handed shooter so I wanted to make sure that uh, that uh, when I drew it's actually it's locked. Now it's unlocked. It's that quick. Uh, you don't have to fumble around for no safeties or anything like that. This is the way safety should be. Uh, Great product. The guys at Cider Lock really put a lot of time and effort into it. Uh, the trigger is a polymer trigger, uh, very much like the original factory trigger, but it's got that uh, it's got that push button in it. And uh, really a great product. If you go to their website, they show uh, they show. I think there's one thing where they were talking about that they've operated that manual safety some thirty thousand times, and the thing still operates. Uh, I've been carrying this pistol with this safety on it for about a year and a half and absolutely no issues and I've fired this gun quite a bit so uh, I, I was, I'm really surprised, I'm really pleased with this and I plan to keep it on there. I was a little apprehensive when I first had it installed of whether I was going to like it or not but after I did it really gives me a lot of peace of mind and for, for folks that are a little concerned about the, uh, the safety of Glock pistols well, this eliminates all the problems right here, is, is the cider lock, uh, trigger lock. Another item that you see on this, uh, on this slide is actually, and I, I've mentioned this before, this is clip draw. This is, a, uh, this is actually a pocket clip that you can clip inside your uh, waistband. This was, uh, is actually ad adhered with uh, double-sided VHB, very high bond 3M tape. Very, very strong stuff. You're not going to be able to pull that off uh, without quite a bit of effort. 
This is the same tape that I was talking about using for my video on uh, magazine wobble and gluing that little, actually adhering that little plate inside. But uh, let me tell you about this. You can see on the back of that, and I'm just going to give you a little quick rundown. You see it says Got Ammo. That's the reason I, I opted for the stick-on uh, clip draw. They make one that replaces, you can, it replaces this plate, and then that plate is threaded, and it has a clip draw that screws onto the back of that plate and then folds over to the edge of the gun. Well, I opted for this one because I had already bought the plate and I didn't want to remove my plate. But a little history of the reason I bought that. At the time that I bought this gun, this is a uh, Glock 27. 40 caliber, and at the time that I purchased it, 9 millimeter ammunition, which is what I carry in my kel right here, uh, that's my little kel PF9, and uh, I had sent it back to the factory for some issues that I wanted to get fixed, and uh, nothing major, kel took care of it, I just wanted to put that plug in, they took care of it, great, great company, they took care of it uh, right off the bat, but anyway, uh, while the gun was in, I went and noticed that uh, I couldn't find any 9mm ammunition. You go to Walmart and the, and the shelves were bare. Well, of course, you got to understand this was, uh, I think it was the beginning of 2010 where ammunition was so scarce. And I would go to Walmart, uh, I mean, it seemed like every other day looking for ammunition. I like buying my ammo at Walmart because it's uh, so much cheaper than uh, an Academy. Academy Sports and Outdoors is, a, is another good place to buy it. Um, we don't have a cheaper than dirt here so Walmart is actually going to be the least expensive place along with Academy. But anyway, that being said, uh, I would go into Walmart and their shelves were completely bare of all ammunition. The only thing that was on the shelf, it seems like, with any consistency, was 40 cal. <laughs> So uh, as a result of that, I went ahead and I, I bought me a 40 caliber pistol. Uh, I opted, I actually was going to buy a car, but uh, I really wanted a gun that, uh, that was fairly compact and was easy to conceal, and I could shoot thousands and thousands of rounds through it without any issues. And you know as well as I do, Glock has held up the test of time. When, when Glock first came out, I was very apprehensive. I swore to God I would never own a plastic pistol. But let's face it, guys, these things have, have uh, they've more than proven themselves over the years. Glock is a great pistol. And with the advent of the cider lock, it's also an extremely safe pistol. Not that it wasn't safe before. Uh, a lot of people that don't know guns think that the Glock is an unsafe pistol because it does not have a manual safety on it. The only reason I put the manual safety on it is because I like to carry this gun in my pocket without a holster, and I also like to carry it a lot of times with the uh, clip draw clipped right over my uh, uh, waistband with it inside my waistband and I don't use a holster for that. So that's just a little added insurance for myself. But uh, check them out guys. Clip Draw and, uh, and Cider Lock. Two great products that you can buy for, uh, for your Glock pistol. Check them out guys. Thank you for watching.